this is Spencer with the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by DPD, yes. Peter J, uh, hello, actor hello. and director from K Town Cowboys, which is having its world premiere here at South by Southwest. Um, I want to start with you, DPD, in the sort of grand picture of things, and that there's a lot. Like, I enjoy the film. Let me get that out there first. Thank you. But watching the film, one of my concerns was that there's so many different things going yeah. on, you know, between the terminology and all the different characters and stuff yep. like that. What was it like trying to balance that all out so that it wasn't necessarily like, um, so that it was cohesive and understandable? Because yeah. there's just a lot going on yeah. that you want to, and it's, I mean, it's all interesting stuff, yeah. so you want to give it its proper time. I mean, you could make it a three hour film, but. Yeah. No, it's definitely a challenge because uh, we knew it reading the script, you know, and going forward, but we, we wanted to stick by it. Um, and then in the post, we had to make some decisions, and we actually cut out a handful of things because, like you said, it was a lot of information, especially in the beginning. You're just thrown at with all this information. But I didn't mind it because I wanted I wanted people to feel a little bit overwhelmed, like it is when you come to K Town and you see this world. It's overwhel overwhelming, like it's a whole new secret world that you're being introduced to. And I wanted to feel like it was bigger than life. Early on, I was going to make uh, the poster just a montage of just a bunch of different people you know for me this was always like an ensemble cast and k-town being a character itself too so the, the the terminology the weirdness all the different characters um we just kind of embraced it it was a little bit of a challenge in post but that was definitely the idea was to give you like throw everything at you at once and overwhelm you with like what is this world you know there's a whole nother galaxy out there so That's yeah um, in terms of you, Peter, you probably have one of the most interesting, complete arcs in the movie. And it's interesting to hear that I was told like about how much of you actually bleeds through into that character. What is it like for you to act in a you know, a theatrical film. I mean, you guys did a web series and one out of that, but like, I understand you went to fashion school and stuff like that. So to be thrust into like this starring role in a theatrical film. Well, first off, we're all friends first. You know, we all hang out, you know, before anything, you know, so so when Danny was and DPD were coming up with the script, it kind of kind of thought about us because we're all so different. And, and, and so they'd always ask me about my background of, you know, fashion and, and, and that's that's true. Like, I'm that dude. I, I, I love working out. I look, like, I look the way I look. I look like a dude. I guess people might judge me that way, but I'm not, you know, like, but you know, I went to fashion school and and it was fun to play a character that was similar to myself, uh, an exaggerated version. Of sure myself. is. <laughs> I'm not that reckless. The only thing exaggerated were the balls. No, yeah, my <laughs> balls are actually smaller than that. <laughs> um, no, but uh, actually, all the other guys aren't actors. They're just friends that I want to naturally capture. But Peter is a working actor, so we knew that in terms of the arc, that we could give him more challenging roles, and he'd be able to Very do cool. the the drama because he has a bigger range. So that's why we gave him that. Song. It was really fun to work with a director that's your friend that you can actually be so comfortable to say, "Hey, what do you think?" You know, and, yeah. and, and try it out. Let's let's you know. So it's an interesting point in terms of like the previous acting experience and stuff like that. Um, is it more beneficial? I don't. I mean, I, I guess it's hard to say since you're so deep into it. Is it more beneficial to have that? familiarity and camaraderie in terms of trying to get people to act is there versus you know trying to get certain emotions or whatever as actors like is that is that a challenge at all or is it because you all know each other so well you know it's so easy to play off it depends um when we did the web series that's exactly the kind of thing i was into i wanted it i didn't want to have any real actors quote unquote actors i just wanted i was very big into kids when i first saw the movie kids uh, yeah. i was like are this is a documentary yeah, what is this it crazy. felt so real when i saw these kids being themselves like i know these kids that's like my degenerate friends and me when I was in, <laughs> in high school. So that really inspired me and I've always been into that. Like I, I didn't grow up wanting to be a film director or anything. I, I just happened to stumble upon this by luck um, and I don't know what happened, but somehow I got to where I'm at. So when we did the web series, I felt that way. I didn't want to have like quote unquote actors. I just wanted to have a real group of friends and capture the camaraderie that they have based upon our our script and guidelines. And we wrote the script based upon who they were in real life. I was just trying to, you know, li well, art emulates life. I did that to the ninth degree on totally. this. Thing though is, is that by the time we got to making the feature, the personalities were still supposed to be the same. They're basically the same characters. But four years had gone by yeah, since we did like, that. Danny was saying he's in his 30s or whatever. Yeah, people script. changed and people have moved away. Bobby had moved to Korea. So we're not around each other like we were by the time we came to the movie. So I gotta admit, that was a little bit more challenging because now all of a sudden, my approach to this was different. Whereas before, I already knew that they're 
acting, I guess, was there because their camaraderie was already sure. there. Yeah. But after four years later, it wasn't necessarily the same. So all of a sudden, now I felt like, okay, I have to do some directing. <laughs> I have to actually do some directing. What is this? So that was definitely a challenging part. But um, I think as, you know, the more... The first week was a little bit rougher, but as we got into it, I felt like we got into the flow of things. Uh, it raises, a, uh, raises an interesting point in terms, especially for you, Peter. Like I was talking uh, with Daniel De Kim about acting in the film. What is it like for someone like you, who's a relatively young actor at this point? I mean, you don't have as long a resume or whatever as him, but like this is like a very accomplished actor. What is it like for you? Is there pressure? You're like, I don't want to fuck up this one scene. I really have to hit it this this day or is, is he just I mean he's such a nice guy it's hard to imagine like him being great guy, really yeah. intimidating but like he's right next to us too by the way yeah. <laughs> but like is it, is it something that you actually think about while you're filming with him that well, like I'm opposite of Daniel Bacon no of course I mean of course when you when you're you know in a acting opposite you know someone that you respect and look up to it's, it's definitely intimidating but you know what he was always he always reached out to us and, and he made it so he was so open and, and comfortable and, and, and really wa wanting to, you know, he was really excited to talk to us and and, 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 and was a fan of the web series and, and we were like humbled and flattered. Yeah. We're like, really? <laughs> you know, and, and, and so he was, I think the intimidation came in my head, obviously. Yeah. And, and when, when I spoke to him, he was just so... You know, just genuine, like, since, and, like a, he was really like a big brother yeah. uh, to all of us, you know. So yeah. it, it, literally, it was, like, yeah, he was your big brother. He was my big brother. So <laughs> yeah. I, when we're when I'm sitting yeah. in that car and, and he's bailing me out, I was I was scared, <laughs> but not as like intimidated by like you know. I, I kind of channeled that like intimid intimidation into like, oh man, my brother's gonna kick my butt, you know. So, in terms of like the actual production of the film, you talk about you guys all being friends and whatever. Um, obviously, you directed, Danny co-wrote it. What was the role of everyone else in terms of actually just going through the process? We're, I mean, oh, I would yeah, assume yeah, yeah. we would listen to ideas from everyone as the process yeah. was going along. How collaborative was that? And so no, we put them all to work. They're not only the <laughs> actors, they're also our crew. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, Danny had to lock down the locations for the most part because we're talking to Korean it's venues lot, that yeah. never film. He also but we know a lot of the uh, the anger too. <laughs> when the episodes come yeah. out, they're like, yeah, yeah. A lot of he had to do a lot of ninety degree bows. To yep. <laughs> we had to pull from a lot of resources, and a lot of the main cast guys were a big part of that too. You know, like um, Shane, for example, is kind of like handling our social media. You know, Peter's been out there reaching out, like, we don't have enough extras. Like, okay, I'm going to call everybody I know on the block. And then they come <laughs> on out. You know, like, Bobby's music is all over our, our movie. So it's definitely, like, Sun's Liquor Store was our li liquor store location. <laughs> like, you know, so everything came together, and they all pulled through in their different ways. So they wore many hats, actually. Um, one of the things I really want to compliment you on was the um, production value of it. Mm. Like, I, I can't say I know any idea how much it costs to make this film, but yeah. it looked very yeah. well executed. Uh, how difficult was it to getting it to a level of polish where you're like, okay, I think this is acceptable yeah. for a theatrical film to play it, I don't know, South by Southwest or whatever, your grandest, I mean, that, this is a pretty fucking phenomenal That was very, line. very big for me. I mean, our budget is, I mean, it's, it's an indie budget. Yeah. Long, but. No, it's an indie budget, um, but it's, it's just enough where you have something on the line. Um, and I wanted to make sure that we allocated enough for it to look like a quote-unquote film, you know, like uh, for me Like I said, I didn't grow up being a film guy I wasn't a guy who was like knew all the technicalities of film or like geeked over like, you know The production crew and all that yeah. so I thought from a, a regular moviegoers perspective And when you're just an average movie if you're a casual mu movie viewer It's hard for them to really sink into it as a feature film unless if it has a certain type of production value I think so I wanted to make sure that we crossed that threshold So when I talked to the producers about how we're gonna allocate our budget I made sure that I said hey We got to make sure that we have enough put aside so that it crosses that threshold and then um, after interviewing a handful of DP um, I, I landed on Chase Bowman. Um, I loved his work, and I knew that. And we just totally clicked when I first met with him. And we did our initial interview, and then we said, "You know what? Let's hang out." So we hung out in K-Town. He got an idea of where I was coming from, cool. and he's like, "I'm on board." And then, but it got to the point that it was like, actually, I have to do a reshoot though for another movie um, in Thailand, like up until two days before production starts. Wow. I don't know if I can still do this. Like, no, I don't care. You're still doing this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so luckily, a... yeah, we stuck with him and it's just paid off. We did a lot of pre-work together. You know, we went over all the shots. We talked a lot about 
the nightlife and how it looks and feels. We, you know, there's there's like a certain like music video sexiness that we wanted in terms of the look of it. I do a lot of music videos too, so we kind of like went hand in hand with like a certain visual approach. So I mean, it's very, it's very, you did a very good job, at least from my perspective as an outsider looking in and sort of like understanding and feeling sort of accepted in terms of the community mm -hmm. as these are the customs, these are the terms, all that stuff. That was really well executed. Cool. Um, now that you guys have done the web series and done this though, when you look out towards the future, is it at all scary? Because between the web series and this, you're working with all your friends, you're in a very safe sort of environment, and it probably, unless you're planning to do Cake Town or Cowboys too, like which, who knows, like I'd probably watch it, like it was enjoyable the first time around, but unless you're gonna work with your friends again, you're probably gonna be drifting off with other people. Is that sort of, a little scary since there was that comfort level there or is that exciting because you're looking to try something unique and different or what is it like I mean, for both of you in yeah. terms of acting and directing? I mean personally for me it's not scary um, like I said I work a lot in the music entertainment industry so I'm, I'm kind of used to like being around people that might be intimidating or oh there's this big name here and I have to direct this guy or I have to deal with some hard issues so I got, I'm pretty comfortable with that now but it's so much more fun doing with your friends, right? Like, you don't have to worry Absolutely. about this person's yeah. ego or is this guy gonna, you don't have to, that step gets skipped. You can just focus on, oh, let's make something good today. What can we do to be creative today? You don't have to worry so much about this person's feelings, this person's management, this person's world or any of that stuff. So um, what I learned from watching other crews though is that you find your family as you make more films you find, in terms of your crew, but as well as your actors. And I think that's gonna, Hopefully, it's going to be a certain. We might thing. see them again in yeah. future films as well. Might not be everybody together, but pieces here and there. I think we'll see cool. us no, going through a journey together. This is home team. Like yeah. this is family. I feel like it's the Wu Tang family. Clan. This is Wu Tang right here. We all believe in each other so much, and I'm like, I'm really excited to like sit back and and, and see everyone's ascension, and then to one day just be all over the world and sit back and call each other. I'm like, yo, what are you working on? What are you working on? And then just looking forward to just joining forces like Voltron again and, and working on something. And like I said, no matter where, what we're doing, we're always gonna be friends, so, you know. You made me think an interesting thing though, in terms of like, yeah, it's, I'm, I have no doubt working with friends is the best way to go, but is there ever any difficulty if something's not right, or if you have to do something again, or if something's not wrong? Cause like, yeah. I imagine it's sort of being like working with family or yeah. something like that, you know? They say never do business with yeah. family or whatever, cause if something goes wrong, you have to be like, you kind of fucked up that take. We're yeah. gonna have to do that again or something like. Is that at all difficult that, for both either of you in terms of like dealing with him? Sometimes you're like, I want to do it this way. This is the best way to do it. I don't know. I always had complete trust in him, actually, and I always got. Nervous. You're the easy one to work with. Well, I always got nervous when he didn't say anything to me. Actually, he always go to my, hey, you good? And he just give me a thumbs up, like, and a nod and a smile, I'm like, you sure? Like, you know, you can you can tell me if you're not happy or if it's not according to your vision. No, this guy came to say like super prepared. I could, every take we were doing, like, I knew he thought about his face expressions, so, like, by the words. You did. You, shut up. You know you did. He had it all planned out. So I would be like, it's great. Why don't you tilt your head a quarter this way? <laughs> That's what you need to change. But uh, I was a little bit hard on some of the other guys. And uh, um, you're right. It is. It gets a little bit weird. But um, I'd rather do it. I know these guys well, and I know what the thresholds are, um, where not to go. There's areas where I know I need to be a little bit easier, but areas where I know I can be super hard on them, they'll, they'll be good with it. I guess the opposite is true, you're right, that you can probably know, you can push them to a certain point, whereas other people you might not know where they're yeah. gonna snap at you or whatever. Yeah, like I think we're, I, I'm fairly easy to work with in a way, but when I'm very stuck on something like, you know, I'll try to stop the world until we get it. So it's a little bit, you know what I mean? But these group of friends though, they're very uh, accommodating. They're easy to work with. So there was a little bit of weirdness here and there just because of the personal lives, you know, intersecting. But yeah. um, just like, you know, when we're on set, we work it out, you know, we'll push each other until we come to a solution. That's interesting to sort of raise. Um, in terms of like the personal aspects that sort of bled into the story, is that at all something that you, <laughs> think about as you're acting it being like this is sort of me but it's also not a representation yeah. of me and that's like people I know versus like what is it like sort of knowing that part of you is the character you're playing and you also want to be an exaggerated version of that character. Uh, I mean I didn't, I didn't even care. Really, yeah I never really thought about it like oh I'm playing me you know I just I just thought of you know I, I was just in the story you know 
Well, I can't talk about it. Okay, uh, so the film is K-Town Cowboys. Um, where can people find out more information about it and upcoming release or whatever? Just go to ktowncowboys.com. Um, um, all of our handles are pretty much K-Town Cowboys. So on Instagram, it's K-Town Cowboys. Facebook, same thing, Twitter. So check us out on social media, ktowncowboys.com being our official site. Cool, and in terms of the two of you, do you guys have any projects coming up that you want to mention or any social media accounts that people can find out what you guys are doing? Yeah, follow me on my uh, Instagram. It's DPD, ITSDPD. Um, we have a couple of other scripts between me and Danny and Shane, actually. Um, they're a little bit of uh, all over the place in terms of genres, but we're very excited about all of them. So we're pushing for some of that stuff next. And you? Um, I, I'm at Peter J, J A E N Y L A. Um, I have some things that I'm working on, but I can't really say because I'm not sure Intriguing. what's going to happen. So, <laughs> all right. Well, stay tuned to the Twitter yeah, to find tuned. out. Keep tuned. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for doing this, and best of luck with the film. I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. Thanks for having us.